Okay, so we're going to look at how to convert deanery number uh, into its hexadecimal equivalent. So the first thing we need to discuss is what is the hexadecimal number system? Well, it's a number system that is of base 16. That means that we've got 16 possible values for each digit that makes up our hexadecimal number. So just like we've got 10 possible values for a decimal number for each column, each digit that makes up the number, um, and two possible values for our binary number system, in the hexadecimal number system we've got 16 possible values. So we'll start by looking at those possible values that we can use. So we start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Those are the first 10 values. Now, the problem is we can't have double digits, and we've still got uh, to represent um, 10 through to 15 because we have 16 possible values. So what we use are, are letters. So our equivalent of 10 would be A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, and those are our possible values that we can use, or possible the, the, the symbols really that we can use in the hexadecimal number system. Okay, so now we want to look at how we would use this in representing numbers. Okay, now as an aside, the reason we use hexadecimal is that it's for us. The computer can't understand hexadecimal any better than it can understand decimal. Um, but it, it enables us to represent numbers in a, a less confusing fashion than the binary number system that the computer understands. So that's the real, one of the main reasons why we use the hexadecimal and also that it ties in very nicely with the binary number system. Okay, so let's look at an example. Okay, let's take the number 48. Okay, now I'm going to convert this first into binary and then I'll show you the following steps to convert a binary number into hexadecimal. Okay, so let's first of all work out um, using uh, our classic binary conversion or not converting into binary. Okay, so we start with the, the, the most significant bit there, we say, can 32 fit into 48? Well, yes, it can. So if we add 48, we add a 1 under that 32, and we take 32 from 48, gives us 16. Okay, so then we say, well, can 16 fit into, can we subtract 16 from 16? Well, yes, we can. And 16 from 16, of course, gives us 0, which tells us that the rest of our binary digits are zero. Okay, so this here is our binary number, our binary representation of the number 48. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, give me a bit of space to work with. Okay. All right, so the technique that I would recommend you use is we split up our binary number into groups of four, a nibble. Um, so I'm going to split those up into groups of four. So we start at starting at the least significant bit. So we've got one, two, three, four bits. And here we've only got two. So what we do is we add uh, leading zeros. Uh, just put them in a different colour. Leading zeros just to fill that to make it into a group of four bits or a group of four binary digits. And then we convert those into the equivalent number from the hexadecimal number system. Now, the largest number that can be represented by four bits is, of course, 15, which means that the hexadecimal numbers with just one column, one, one, one hexadecimal digit, can represent a value, all of the possible values that we can get from four bits in the binary number system. So zero, 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 that's nice and easy. Uh, we get zero. And zero, zero, one, one in binary. Remember that we are not counting this as um, 1632, We are counting this from the beginning again. So this is one, two, four, and eight. 
So in this case, uh, this is three. So there's our answer. Three, zero. Okay, and if we want to check that, we can convert it back. So we say, well, we've got three and zero. Let's just have a, I'm going to uh, add a page here. Okay, so we take three and zero, and we're going to convert this back to uh, its <coughs> deanery equivalent using the hexadecimal number system. So we've got two columns, two digits. So the first column is our ones column. This is, of course, 16 to the power zero. And we've got our 16's column, which is, of course, 16 to the power 1. Okay, follows the exact same pattern as the binary number system, deanery number system, uh, when you get a name. Right, so, we've got zero ones, so we've got zero ones. We've got three 16's. And we add those together, so three times 16 plus zero ones gives us 16, 32, 48. It's correct. So that's converting from the deanery number system to the hexadecimal number system. We convert to binary first, we break the binary number up into blocks of four bits, we convert that block of four bits to its equivalent by a hexadecimal digit, and that gives us our answer.